What is up guys? What is going on? Welcome back to JB ADV. My name is Jacob. Um, I'm currently out in the garage. I'm uh, fixing up her bike. I'll explain in a minute. I got my bike sitting right here, all ready to go. Uh, I am currently um, just loading up. We're going camping this weekend. We are going to go up to Connecticut to ride, a uh, place I've never been before. We're going up to, uh, and I believe it's pronounced this way, Pachog, Pachog State Forest. I ended up seeing on a uh, Facebook group, someone posted up this place and was like, hey, there's like 60 miles-ish of trails, give or take. And I looked it up and there's some camping right in the middle of the forest as well. So I loaded up the truck. We're gonna go camping this weekend. It's gonna be a blast. So I'm loading up right now on Friday. Tomorrow we're gonna head out around 5.30 in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, get up there. It's about a three and a half hour ride for me. So it should make for a really good weekend. Just a good weekend getting out, seeing what these trails are all about. Um, it's only for dual sports. So you have to have a uh, registered and street legal dirt bike to ride there, which is nice. And then, um, so we're gonna take R2 just us two, go up there and just have a good time. Before we load up the bikes, I actually wanted to say, so she's been riding this bike and last week we went out to uh, Anthracite Adventure Area, out at AOAA for short, um, over in Cole Township in PA. We like to ride out there a lot. And she dumped the bike in rocks on this side on the handguard. Handguard did its job, saved herself, but she had lost front brakes for a little bit because this actually came up and it actually touched the uh, hydraulic switch that I put in. It actually touched this and it tweaked this just enough that the crush washer on the inside actually came undone and it leaked out some of her brake fluid. So I flushed them out. She's got rock solid brakes now. And uh, I just tweaked this to move it down just a hair and then move this up. So she should be good to go. If it happens again, at least we know what the problem is. I'll just put new crush washers in if I have to. But other than that, Absolutely solid bike so far. Nothing uh, major has gone wrong. I probably should knock on some wood now, but uh, honestly, I can't imagine anything going wrong with this bike. It's been rock solid so far. My bike right here is doing absolutely great. Hopefully the lighting will help you guys, but it's doing absolutely great. The pods are good. I even hit a tree with this pod last week, but uh, it's holding up pretty well. Uh, only difference I've done is I've added the wireless quad lock charger on, which is uh, so much easier in dealing with wires. And I even added a dual USB right here, which is really nice. So um, I just take the wire from this and I plug it in when need be. It was raining the other day, so this is blocked off. And this has a dedicated on and off as well. So, um, and this is also, uh, even though it has an on and off dedicated right here, this actually works off of the accessory switch. So once you turn it on, this becomes live as long as you activate it. It's really, really, really nice. So other than that, um, that's it for the bike. So now I'm gonna load them up and I'm gonna get the rest of this truck packed up. Had to switch my original plan. I was gonna go sideways with both of them to try to close the tailgate. Forgot she has gigantic handguards now and that headlight just wasn't gonna fit with my bike like it did when we went out to Ohio. Tailgate's gotta stay down this time. We got the cooler for the weekend. We got her bike right there, my bike's right there. Had to push them sideways a little bit just to fit the cooler in. So now that we're good to go, guys, I'm going to just hang out for the rest of the night. I'm gonna catch back in with you guys in the morning. We're gonna pick back up and we're gonna start our drive out there. It's now morning, it's now Saturday. Uh, we got everything loaded up. We're at a little bit of a late start. I wanted to leave about an hour earlier, but it is what it is. We ended up sleeping in. I'm not in too much of a rush this weekend. I'm not trying to push things and like have a very strict guideline this weekend. That's kind of the game plan. We're just going up there. We're trying to figure things out. If we get to camp it out a little bit more than we are dirt biking, that's okay too. We're just kind of hanging out this weekend. So, but you're definitely going to see some dirt biking for sure. Um, but we got everything packed up. This truck's loaded, um, which makes us question adding a third person to our list and doing a truck only when we go out to Ohio. Um, so I don't know we're gonna have to figure that part out a um, little bit of a teaser there but anyway so we're just getting ready now you good you got everything packed up all right cool so yeah that's about it really so we're just gonna hit the road now uh, leaving about five minutes we gotta stop and get fuel uh, maybe a couple other little things but we'll probably stop when we're up uh, in Connecticut for that 
And then uh, other than that, I think we're pretty good. So um, yeah, let's hit the road guys. Thanks so much for uh, joining once again. If you guys like this type of content, remember hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We are, we are close to a thousand and we're gonna be posting up a lot of videos coming up real soon. So um, thank you all for sticking with the channel and uh, yeah, let's get to it. So we just got here, we just unloaded. Uh, we can't check into our campsite yet. Uh, we're supposed to be able to do that at one o'clock. Right now it's about 11 o'clock in the morning, 11.30 in the morning. So we just un uh, unloaded our dirt bikes and we just ran into some locals with their dirt bikes as well. And they said that we could follow them for a little bit just to get comfortable on some of the trails. But they said there is some pretty hard technical enduro here, which is uh, accurate to what I saw online. So I'm pretty excited about this, but they said we could easily follow them. They're a couple older guys great people up here so far from what i've seen from all the people we've talked to so i'm pretty excited so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to change really quick um and we're going to head out with them just to see what what there is to explore i'm not really too sure okay guys so i am all geared up we are back in the helmet cam i hope you guys are excited as i am because um we have not been in the helmet cam for quite some time she's been taking over the helmet cam but as you guys can see over here she does have her whole setup now with her hero 9 which is awesome she does not have a mic in hers because honestly with these types of helmets it the mic picks up quite good i have a mic on mine because i'm actually wearing my bell mx9 helmet um no i don't think i need the sunglasses right now we're pretty excited um these trails seem pretty cool so far the fact that we could just hang out and hit some uh gentle forest roads if we want to take it easy take a little break and then also just uh hit up everything else Hold on, I wanna put the cooler back in. I have the GPS guides here on my phone and I have my phone plugged in. Yeah, and there it is. So there's a little loop pre-installed on my phone from Gaia GPS. I'm really loving Gaia GPS, guys. Um, I've tried Onyx and I've tried, uh, I do actually use Avenza maps too, um, in case Gaia doesn't have a way of importing or it doesn't see any trails nearby. You can find some, uh, sometimes you can get a, a, it'll upload a PDF and it'll, on a Venza, I believe, and it'll actually import it and overlay on the map, which is pretty cool. Um, we used it for Wayne National, but I think Gaia would work too. I don't think I ever gave it a chance out there, so I'm going to have to give it a chance next time we go out there. You're recording now? I'm recording now. But you're recording now. Recording. Who's recording now? <laughs> so it's uh, 11.30 right now in the morning. And we're supposed to check into our campsite around 1. And I definitely want to get back and set up a campsite. Because um, I don't want to be out and then be super tired and have to do that when it's, you know. I mean, our campsite's in the middle of the woods. So it's going to get a little darker than normal. So I don't want to do that then. So, But thanks again, guys, for joining us. I, I hope you, uh, I know this doesn't seem like much yet. But um, I'm thinking that this, this is going to be a pretty cool little adventure. So let's go uh, check out what these guys have to say. And we'll, uh, we'll check back in when we start riding. We're heading out. We're gonna see what this place is all about. See what it has to throw at us. 64 out? Yeah, I bet. Nice. That is absolutely gorgeous weather then. So we picked a really good weekend to try this place out. Very excited. Wow, this is this is gorgeous out here, guys. This is this is really nice. Woo, you get that little cold wind off that uh that water though. <laughs> That'll stiffen the nipples. <laughs> So I know I've mentioned it before guys, but I'm going to mention it one more time. We are in Pechog State Forest. I'm sure it's in the title of this video as well, but um, it's funny because Pauline didn't realize how close we were to Rhode Island. And uh, that's what these guys were talking about, how the trails lead into Rhode Island. And uh, we're literally, I, I mean, we're 10 more minutes down this dirt road to, until we're into Rhode Island pretty much, as long as we take a right. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> we're right there. So we are right on the west side of Connecticut. Um, so right there, that should be able to tell you how far away this trail system is from you. So we are getting a little bit rockier. And, it, and these guys are moving. That's awesome.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The terrain up here, a lot of loose pebble, as you guys can tell in the video, a lot of loose pebbles. So you gotta get take it a little easy. It can get away from you pretty quick. On some of these uh, curves, if you were to take a curve a little too fast, I think uh, it could. Oh, look at this, and some sand, okay. Ooh, yeah, wow. That'll take your front tire and send it anywhere you want. Very interesting terrain up here. It's literally a mix of sand and loose pebble. <laughs> Very interesting. This is awesome. He's like progressively taking us to harder and harder stuff, and I like that. It's like good for a little warm up, you know? <laughs> Got a little air on that. That's so much fun. These trails are fun so far. I'm liking it. I'd be happy just riding stuff like this all day, to be honest with you. This is fun. Compared to the stuff we normally ride, this is considered smooth. <laughs> but check how cool this is, guys. This is awesome. So we are officially in Rhode Island now. <laughs> we ended up making our way out to Rhode Island. So cool. Place is very fun so far. My battery died on my GoPro because I, like I told you guys, I don't have the battery bank hooked up. But, so I just stole the battery bank off of hers because I can't believe my GoPro died that fast. But yeah, it's a blast. I'm, I'm gonna wait for my GoPro to charge up a little bit more, guys, and then I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be back with you. But I just wanted to showcase that. That is. That is such a cool little uh, bridge <laughs> just to go over some water. And now we're in Rhode Island. So I told her we were very close to Rhode Island, but I didn't expect that we would actually be riding in Rhode Island this weekend. So, but these guys are taking us on a really fun little dual sport ride right now. And I'm loving it. Um, this is a lot of fun. A lot of fast moving, cutting, covering a lot of distance. At this rate, we'll probably both have to stop and fill back up again eventually. But yeah, that was rough. Oh boy, that bump. Probably didn't look like much guys, but some of these little bumps, they're rock hard because the road is uh, dry, as you can tell from the dust, and whew, they, uh, they, you really feel in the groin. So we just cut into the woods here. Looks like we're gonna get on some dual sport trails now, some single track, it looks like. Cool, I'm down. Uh, this is nice so far. Oh yeah, this is a lot of fun so far. Yeah, East Coast terrain doesn't really change, I see. Just more leaves. These guys are uh, really cool. Bruce and Matt, they're the two guys we met. They're 63 and 64 out here riding. And uh, really nice gentlemen. And uh, when they, <laughs> they're funny too, because when they stopped and asked if we're having a good time, I said, yeah, he goes, good, a happy customer, I love it. <laughs> so these are, these are some really, uh, really nice guys. See, like, I would have no idea to go left or right here. I mean, but it's in my dash though. All these trails we're on right now is logged in my GPS. Yeah, I'll have to set you up with a, a, a guy GPS thing. You're good. Yeah, good for you. Hey, just like, just like my, just my QA section, guys. I was like I told you guys in that video, what she rides over now is crazy compared to when she first started. This is a good size log right here, babe. That was a good sized log too. It was. I think that's the biggest one we've hit so far. Uh-huh. Good for you. Woo! Thank you, Fender. I heard that in your mic. Oh my god. Yo, that straight would have like knocked me out. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that in your mic. Stay to the right of these sticks. Hold on, we gotta, we gotta down log. We gotta figure out how we gotta get around this now. Hey, mother nature happens. Just watch for this guy right there. There we.
perfect. It's about time for us to go check in to uh, set up our uh, campsite. And we're probably a good 20, 30 minutes out from the campsite right now, which is fine. That's perfect. Um, but, and we definitely want to set up the camp, but we said we're going to stick with them for a little bit longer because um, it's fun. And uh, it's always good to have more people with you too. That, it's never a bad thing. Oh no, better watch out for the wild styrofoam invasive species here up in Connecticut and Rhode Island. Oh, this is beautiful. Imagine camping right here. That's cool. I like that. Look how red the water is from all the mineral deposits. Is he turning around? He might be turning around. Woo! <laughs> he obliterated that tree and it just landed in my lap. It's very funny. <laughs> I have it on camera. Pass at your own risk. All right. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> so my camera just died on me again. The uh, battery bank uh, popped right out of the charge port. I don't know how that happened, but it did. So, uh, yeah, I missed a little bit of that, but there wasn't too much. So now we're, uh, yeah. So now, now we're in apparently the little bit more challenging section. This is a lot of fun so far. Obviously a lot slower moving, a little technical. Um, I know the GoPro never does justice, but it's not really that big of an upgrade anyway. Like, uh, like a steep grade. It's, it, we're not really going up too far, far here, but, uh, yeah, but it, it's just a really beautiful scenery, and this isn't so bad at all. I don't, I don't find this too challenging at all. Not yet, anyway, unless it gets, well, yeah, unless it gets like absolutely crazy. But no, so far so good. Here, you go ahead. Let her move ahead a little bit more. I'm just coasting through here, having a good time. That's one nice thing about the, the 250L suspension. It's so plush that all that is just a nice cushiony cloud that you drop off of. Which is also a bad thing, but it's okay. Oh yeah. Huh. I'm interested. I'm very rocky. Go ahead, go in front of me. Oh no, it is, I'm just, I'm making it challenging for myself. He didn't go the way I did, did he? Oh no. Oh yeah, these are easy. I'm just making it challenging on myself. It looks like you can go up over, oh. Very interesting. Um, maybe if we just clear up that, we could probably just hop over this. Oh, he's gonna walk it over. I wonder if I should just hop over that. <gasps> yeah, I'm good. I'm just gonna have to rock it. There it is. Yeah, there we go. We're good now. I tried, yeah.
Whoop. Yep. Now hip. Now hip. You're good. It's all good. You know, actually, babe, if we go this way, we're like, we can shoot right back to the campground. All right, guys, so we just split up with them. Um, they were great, great, great people. Um, I, I, yeah, absolutely awesome that they let us join them. Um, they took us on a pretty awesome ride. This is actually a way bigger ride than I expected to do so far today. I don't have the exact mileage, but, um, for you yet but uh yeah this was great so what i'm gonna do here guys is i'm actually gonna blaze my own trail going off this gps and it doesn't look too far off so they're actually on the exact orange trail right now they're taking that up that i saw before so i might actually after we set up camp i might loop it back and end up back here going the other way later but uh what i'm gonna do now guys is i'm gonna blaze this and we're gonna head back to the camp you ready all right let's go we're gonna go right over to our campsite now because i know it's number 22 and we're going to take a look here because all these say reserved. So these people just haven't gotten here yet is what I'm going to assume. And this one should be ours right here. Yeah. But since check-in is after one, I'm pretty sure we're good to go in here now. I would assume. Can't imagine we wouldn't be. But look at that. We got a nice little trail that leads to the field. I can see my truck from here. Pretty cool. I'm going to be bringing my truck over here. But, pretty cool. All right, guys, we are at the campsite. Got the bikes behind me. And uh, we got a little picnic table here. We do have a little fire pit. Hopefully, this is all in frame now. I don't have the nice Hero 9 like hers, so I don't have the fancy screen on the front. But, got the nice fire pit right there. We got our chairs. Truck is parked right here. What a nice new tent. I might do a review on this. A lot of people, that's very popular to do reviews on this, but this is the Ozark Trail. You can get this thing at Walmart for those who are interested in doing this type of thing. Um, we're probably going to end up getting a nice little like backpacking tent set up one day probably, but for right now, uh, she goes to a lot of events and stuff, so this is going to be perfect. But Ozark Trail, Walmart, this is apparently the eight person. Um, kind of got some cool things. Got some speaker in it, um, which isn't the best, but it would it plays music, so... And these bars up top, the actual framing bars, they all light up. So it's got like a, uh, actually has a little like battery bank that it comes with. And then it's got a little on off down there for you, which is pretty cool. But definitely plenty of room in this. I got uh, some hot sausages cooking up right now on the Blackstone griddle. Um, I love these Blackstones, by the way. Um, I know a lot of people have issues with them, but I, I personally love them. I don't have any issues. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. And then we're going to head back out. Um, we'll probably do a fire later, because why not? Uh, this pine all around here in the woods here will burn right up very fast. So fire should go out pretty quick, and uh, we'll have some heat for later. But beautiful day so far, beautiful temperature so far. Um, and heck, man, for, for 30 bucks coming up here and uh, hanging out for the night, this, you couldn't ask for any better. Um, there's dirt bikes riding all over. They're having a blast. And uh, that's what we're gonna do now. So we were pretty impressed with how far we've gone already. Um, Rhode Island is not a big state and we ended up traveling about a quarter of it. So that's, that's kind of funny, or at least going about a quarter of the way deep into it. So that's, that's pretty cool. I've um, never ridden Rhode Island, now I can say I did that. Um, but yeah, we're probably gonna end up heading out and going a little north from here and checking out some more stuff. Um, but they did say that the trails do, if you go on the true enduro trails that aren't really marked out, um, except for like where you enter and exit, that it does get pretty rough, but you could always make it through. And that's what they said. And, or just turn around. So that's our plan. We're going to see what else. Cause, uh, that was a good little, uh, little ride though. But I like that, man. That, that's, I like switching it up from time to time and just going a little slow, going a little fast. It's nice. Um, so a lot of fun. Hope you guys are enjoying this video series. It's pretty cool. I don't know way I cut these up, of course, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I think we're probably gonna end up heading out tomorrow too and riding a little bit. Why not while we're up here? And then uh, we'll be able to have still have time, only three hours to go home, wash up the bikes and hang out for the night. So um, thanks for joining us again, guys. So we're just gonna sit here. We're gonna cook some food, eat some food and then go ride. <laughs>